Yo, what's up everybody, it's your boy Floss, back again with another video, and today we're going to take a look at the LG Wing. Now you can pick this one up from Verizon, I'll throw the link up in the description, the price on this one, 1000 bucks. Now it comes in two different colors, you got Aurora Grey and Illusion Sky. Alright, so let's go through all of the specs. For the display, you got a 6.8 inch P-OLED panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2400. Now that's 395 for the PPI Patrol. Now for the secondary display, you got a 3.9 inch G-OLED panel with a resolution of 1080 by 1240. Now that's 419 for the PPI Patrol. Now the phone is IP54 splash and dust resistant. For the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 765G with the Adreno 620 GPU. Now what does that mean in English? Low tier flagship specs, bro. All right, low tier flagship specs. Same processor as the Google Pixel 5. Now you got eight gigs of RAM, 128 or 256 gigs of storage, and a micro SD card slot for expandable memory up to two terabytes. Now the phone is running Android 10 with LG UI on top. Now you got a 4,000 milliamp battery that features quick charge four and wireless charge. For the cameras, on the rear, you got a triple setup. So you got a 64 megapixel wide angle, a 13 megapixel ultra wide, and a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens. On the front, you got a 32 megapixel wide angle pop-up lens. Now you also got Bluetooth 5.1, you got NFC, you got an always on display, and an on-screen fingerprint sensor. All right, so a thousand bucks, what's missing? There's no dual speakers, okay? No face unlock. No power share, that's reverse wireless charging. No quad HD display. No high refresh rate, so no 90 hertz or 120 hertz refresh rate. And no headphone jack. That shit's whack. Hashtag bars. All right, so all of that for 1,000 bucks. Let's see what it is. Now, before I unbox this, I want to give y'all my true experience <laughs> with this phone. Let me tell you the backstory. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I'm on vacation. I'm in Las Vegas. I'm butt naked, wearing some suede socks, getting drunk at 10 o'clock in the morning. And I happened to check my phone, and I noticed I got 25 Instagram ads. Now, normally when that happens, that means a new phone is out. So I decided to take a break, check my phone real quick, take it over to Instagram. And I noticed everybody was like, check out the LG Wing. So I took it over to YouTube. I did a quick search. I right, shout out to my man Lou from Unbox Therapy. I see he had a video up. Now, if y'all know anything about my channel, I never watch anybody's video before I do my video because I like to go into things with an open mind. But I just wanted to skim through real quick and see what the phone was all about. So I seen him flicking the phone up, open it closed real quick. And I was like, mm, I don't really know how I feel about this one. I, I'm, I'm not really sold on this one. Kind of looks gimmicky. Let me tell you what I mean. When I first seen the Galaxy Fold, I, when I seen the Galaxy Fold and I seen it unfold, I was like, I need this, I, I need this immediately. When I seen the Z Flip, I, when I seen it unflip, I was like, I need this immediately. With the LG Wing, I was like, I want it. All right, let's be, let's be clear about that, I want it. But I don't know if I really need it, it's kind of gimmicky. Boy, was I wrong, I, boy, was I wrong. Now, 1,000 bucks, I know a lot of y'all saying the price is too goddamn high, no. All right, this phone right here, Look, I got it yesterday. I got it yesterday, took it out of the box. Soon as I took it out of the box, I fell in love immediately. That's before I even flexed it open. Once I flexed it open, it was game over. This is the future right here. All right, now I know I'm rambling on. Let that hype build up. Okay, here we go. Uh, first things first, where's white shoes at? Shoes, where you at? All right, shoes, wherever you at? Calm down. Let's get it in. LG Wing. All right, so we got a nice, clean, white box. Y'all know I like that. Giggity, 5G. All right, this is from Verizon. Here we go. Now, I'm trying to recreate my experience from yesterday. So as soon as I took it out of the box, I went just like this. I took it out, took the plastic off. Immediately, as soon as I held the phone in my hand, I was like, oh no, I like this. All right, I like this. Now look, I'm one of those people that like big, heavy phones. And this phone is heavy. And if you notice, Directly from the back, it kind of looks like a Galaxy Note 20. So I'm already used to this as my favorite phone. It was love at first sight. Let's keep it moving. Let's see what else you get. All right, flick of the wrist. This is going to be your, okay, SIM ejection tool. Save that. 
Of course, you got your usual books and shit. Feel something heavy in there? Oh no, it's a little novel. Pluck them and file them. That's it for that, flick of the wrist. This is gonna be a quick charging brick. All right, quick charge 4.0. USB type C charging cable. All right, I got inspected for quality myself, saying shoes is off. All right, looks good. And let's see what else is in here. Oh, wait a minute, what's this? Yes. All right, you see? Now look, whenever I keep saying the same thing over and over, a lot of y'all be like, oh, stop saying that, these companies don't care. They do care. I always say, hashtag, bring back the dongle. I just said it yesterday in my OnePlus video. Hashtag, bring back the dongle. Some of us got old school cars. We're still using aux cables. This is what I'm talking about. How simple is this to just throw in the box and me as the user and the customer, look at the level of joy I just got just by throwing this little dongle in the box. Samsung, all right, Apple, OnePlus, pay attention. All right, this is how you do it. Let's keep it moving. All right, here we go. Now I got a new microfiber cleaning cloth for my homies over at Mobile Fun. All right, check them out. Shameless plug. That was a free one right there. All right, Mobile Fun, that was a free one. Swipe this down. Let me do the smell test on this one. Mm! This one has the sweet smell of flex. All right, because if you buy this phone, you will be flexing on your friends. Trust me. Now, let me hit that power button real quick. Again, let me recreate from yesterday. All right, so as soon as I hit the power button, I was like, oh, this phone is super heavy. All right, it's a big, heavy phone, and I like that. All right, I like that. On the back, there's a triple camera setup. Got your LED flash. Got a power button, volume up and down, pop-up selfie camera, so that means bezel-less display. I mean, that's a little bit of bezel, but look at that. Full-screen display, all right? No pinch hole camera, no notch, no nothing. I, or as we say in the hood, nothing. And you FFI and no nothing. On this side, there's your SIM tray. On the bottom, USB Type-C charging slot, speaker grill, another mic. That's pretty much it. Now, the, like I said earlier, a couple of things that's missing. One of the things that I don't like though is no dual speakers. I don't understand why they didn't just drop a little speaker in the front of that on a $1,000 joint. It is what it is. All right, let me put my code in real quick. Now, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this first time, check this out. Let's hit the power button. Look at that, you see the motion waves? Now here's the flex. Now you see the waves going from the top screen to the bottom screen? Bro, how sick is that? Let's do that again. Bong! <laughs> now let me tell you something, all night, all night, I was trying to figure out ways to flex this cool. I'm trying to see, how can I do it like that? Should I do it like this, two-hand style? I'm working on it. I'm trying to work on the flex like that. I'm still getting it, because y'all see, I practice. All right, my Z flip. I got the hang of flex in this one with one hand. We get the hang of this one, too. All right, so let me show you this fingerprint sensor on the front. Now, of course, there's a couple of different ways you can open up the device. All right, you can swipe up, put in your pattern and your pin. No face unlock. I don't like that either, no face unlock. But you got always on display and fingerprint sensor. Now, one thing I will say, the fingerprint sensor, not the best. Not the best in the world. And the software on this phone, again, when you're buying, when you're buying first generation products, the software is a little bit wonky. I, I hate using the, these are tech reviewer words, but that's the only word that I can really think of to describe this software. It's a little wonky here and there. All right, so let's try that fingerprint sensor. Now, it does work, but it's just, not the fastest, it's not OnePlus status, but it works. Now I know what you're saying. When you flex it like this, now what you're gonna do? You can put in your pattern and your pin like that, or you could do what I did. Watch this. I, as I flex it open, I set up another fingerprint in this direction, so I can open it like this. All right, so now, of course, let me try to do the fingerprint sensor for real now. Y'all gotta remember, I'm sitting at an unnatural position, so I got my arms flexed out all the way in front of me. Okay, here we go. <laughs> LG is trolling me. All right, let's see, maybe you gotta hit the screen first. Let me see, because you should be able to do it with the screen off. Okay, no, you can't. All right, so that's the, all right, so that was the problem. 
with the fingerprint sensor on this one, like I said, I've only been using it for a day. You gotta hit the power button. Now, a lot of phones, when the display is off, you can use the on-screen fingerprint sensor. Oh, did it just work just now? All right, <laughs> what am I doing? Hey, let's try it again. Okay. Like I said, it's a little wonky. It does work. Let's try it with the display completely off. Okay. Now you got the fingerprint sensor logo. All right, it does work off. All right. Maybe the phone was just trolling me a little bit. First gen software. Look at that flex. Woo! 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 All right, now. All right, now. Let me pause the video real quick. I'm going to reset the phone. Maybe I just had a soft... You know, sometimes when you boot up your phone, everything's loading up, and everything takes a minute to recalibrate. So I'm going to reset the phone and come back in. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. So let's break it down. First up, there's your always on display. Fully customizable, nice and bright, looks beautiful. As far as the build quality, the phone is extra heavy. Y'all know I gotta say it, feels so good in the hands. Ladies, you know the procedures. Glass on the front, glass on the back, aluminum frame. IP54 splash and dust resistant. Now, fingerprint sensor. It does work with the display off. Now, on a side note, most people would edit that part of the video out where the phone was trolling me, but I tend to leave that kind of stuff in because this is real life. This might happen to you when you get your LG wing and you first boot it up, you know, after you had it off for, for the whole night. It might be acting a little bit wonky. The phone is not broke, all right? Sometimes, a lot of times, <laughs> sometimes, a lot of times, <laughs> sometimes with the software, everything is just taking a second to catch up. Little hiccups here and there. I know what y'all iPhone cats are saying. Oh, that's typical Android life. Hey, it is what it is. All right, so I'm gonna leave that part in the video. So if you get your LG wing and you're struggling a little bit, the fingerprint sensor is just not the fastest and smoothest in the world. It's not like OnePlus. All right, you see OnePlus, you just go like that and it's open. This one you actually gotta press and you gotta hold it. All right, so let's do that one more time. Just like that. Now let's do it from the flip. Oh, look, I love that flex. All right, there it is. You just gotta press it and hold it. Look at the flex. Bro, this is so sick, all right, this is so sick. All right, now before we go through all of the flex stuff, let's get the basics out of the way. All right, so you swipe over once, no camera in the front, so this is gonna be all screen display. You can read all your little stories. Let's see anything interesting. Man in Trump gear gets booted from Southwest flight for removing masks to eat. See, now, this is the shit I'm talking about. Some of y'all going too far. How the fuck is he supposed to eat with a mask on? Now, look, I don't like getting political and all that. I don't care about Trump, Biden. I don't care who y'all going to vote for. Somebody takes off a mask to eat on the flight. Let that man eat, man. Come on, y'all taking this shit too far. Anyway, let's keep it moving. I know, I know. I'm in rare form today. All right, so you swipe back over. This is your full screen display. Let's take it over to the toggles. All right, let's see anything important. Let's see, you got screenshot, you got screen recording, got bedtime mode, battery saver, screen sharing, LG 3D sound engine. All right, now, if you put in headphones, turn on LG sound engine, tweak the settings. All right, so all your basic toggles on deck, take it over to settings. Let's try to go through this quick. You got VPNs, private DNS. I'm going to just try to mention the stuff that people care about. You got NFC, you got file sharing, media server, printing. Okay, everything on deck. Take it over to sounds. Let's see, uh, system sounds. Pop-up camera does make a sound for the front. I needed to check that immediately. Let's see, uh, sound quality and effects. Got a fully functional EQ, of course. Drop mine on hip-hop for that bass, you know what I mean? <laughs> let's see, let's see, <laughs> let's see anything, anything else. All right, let's swipe over. Flash for incoming calls, I'm gonna leave that on. Live caption, vibration strength. Let's see, our vibration type, we'll do rapid. All right, fast and hard, kiggity. Vibration on tap, all right, or maximum vibration strength. Let's see, sound and roaming in the tone, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's go to display. Now, again, no high refresh rate, so no 90 hertz, no 120 hertz, no one, what is it, Um, jam me with the 144? No 144 hertz. This is basically 60 hertz display. 
All right, so you got your swivel home. You can change all of the settings. Now, that's a lot of settings to play with. I'm not gonna go through all of them. I'll show you how I set mine up though. You got night mode, screen color, natural vivid cinema, custom of course, display size, again, Fully customizable. If you have if you ever had an LG phone, you know you could pretty much tweak all of the settings. Wallpapers and themes. You got a few defaults, like this uh, a few live ones, like that wall, uh, the, the water that I'm using right now. That's the best live one that's default. This one right here, this is how it's gonna look. And then when you unflex it, it's gonna look like this. You know, I'm like I said, the water one looks the best. Let's keep it moving. Lock screen and security. Again, no face unlock. So you got swipe pad and pin password. Let's see, you got your content unlock, blah, blah, blah. Let's see, privacy, location, extensions. All right, you got smart cleaning. Got dual apps, screen recording. You got your knock. Oh, let me just turn that back real quick. You got your LG knock. You can use that if you want. Increase touch, sens uh, touch sensitivity. If you're gonna use a pen, to rock that too. Uh oh, I hear, I hear a sound in the background. Get the music ready, y'all. I hear a sound in the background. Let's see what else we got. Uh, battery. Okay, you can optimize charging. Blah blah blah. You got digital well-being. I monitor your scumbag activities. Your parental controls. Keep those little dirt bags in check. Let's see what else. Accessibility. If you're hearing or visually impaired. All of the settings right here. And that's pretty much it. Let's go to um, About Phone real quick. Now, this phone is running Android 10 out of the box, but it will be upgradable to Android 11. Pretty much it on that. Okay, here's how my panels look. Basic. Now, look, Snapdragon 765G, that's the gaming chipset. It runs pretty smooth. Now, I would say the little bit of lag that I'm catching here and there, I don't think it's because of the Snapdragon chipset, because that's the same chipset, uh, chipset. <laughs> that's the same chipset that you're gonna find in the Google Pixel 5. Now, I've been using the Pixel 5 for the last couple of days. That phone is smooth as butter. So the little lag and the hiccups that you're getting with this, it's brand new software that has to learn how to do these animations and transitions. So every now and then, it's, sometimes it gets a little slow or gets a little bit buggy. But I don't care. I right? this the flex alone on this is worth it for me. Now I want y'all to I want y'all to stay with me here. All right, stay with me here. I want y'all to explain uh, explain. I want y'all to know why I'm feeling this so much. So we're gonna do an experiment together. Whatever phone you got right now, all right? Whatever phone you got, think about when you're watching videos, right? And you're watching them in landscape mode. Normally you're gonna hold your phone like this, all right, with two hands. If you're sitting like this, or if you're chilling, you're gonna hold your phone like this. If you hold your phone like this, you notice that, especially with a big phone like this, fellas with your Galaxy Notes, take your, your Galaxy Note and hold it like this, and imagine you're watching a YouTube video. The phone feels kind of heavy because you're holding it from one angle. You're holding it all the way from the end because you want to see the display, so the phone just feels a little bit heavy. I don't know anybody that holds their phone like this. All right? So hold your phone like this, and imagine you're watching a video. You see how uncomfortable this is? I mean, it's natural because you've been doing it, but think about now holding your phone like this. Take your same two fingers and put them in the middle of your phone like this. Now, of course, you can't watch a video, but look how much lighter your phone gets as opposed from holding it like this to holding it in the middle. When you hold it in the middle, now the phone is balanced. All right, so the phone feels lighter because it's balanced. The same theory with this phone right here. Now, when you're watching your video on landscape mode, same thing, take your phone at home that you was just holding like this, hold it like this. You notice if you hold your phone like this, it feels heavier. And if you hold it like this, now it feels lighter. It feels more balanced, it feels natural. You could easily watch a video like this in your phone all day. But you don't wanna watch a small YouTube video like this, you wanna put your phone sideways. So you might hold it like this, you might hold it like this. You're not gonna hold it like this. I don't know anybody that does this, and you're not gonna do this. This is the only way you're gonna get that balanced feel that you get to, with the LG Wing, is holding it like this. So now imagine being able to watch a full-size YouTube video, all right, on a full screen, and hold it comfortably. That's why I fell in love with this phone immediately, because as I'm watching a video, I'm saying to myself, I don't really know why I'm just comfortable and I'm enjoying this video a little bit more. Then it hit me last night. It hit me last night when I was using my Galaxy Note. 
and I was watching the same video like this, I'd had the phone screen on. <laughs> like to check out this wallpaper, by the way. You see the Vegas life? Live wallpaper, that's kind of sick. I was holding the phone like this, and I was holding this phone in this hand, and I said, yo, this is the future right here, right? This is the way you want to hold your phone. Now watch this. Say I pull up a YouTube video, right? You still got the second screen on the bottom. Matter of fact, hold on a second. Let me um, put in my Wi-Fi code. Oh, wait. <laughs> I was just about to pause the video. Ladies and gentlemen, late but still great. I love my white shoes. I love what shoes my is back in the building? Shoes. I love my white shoes. Let me sharpen up my knife hand for white shoes white coming in late. Shoes. White shoes. I love my white Calm shoes. down. All right, let me put in my uh, Wi-Fi code. All right, so let me show you some of the basic features. Now, once you flip it open, you're going to get a different home screen. Now, if you notice on the top, you got the large icons. So you got your games, you got gallery, camera, maps, and YouTube. I can just activate YouTube, start watching the video. Now, from the bottom, you got a secondary home screen. Now, this one is fully customizable, and it works just like a home screen. You can swipe down. You got all your quick toggles. You can swipe up. Here's all your apps. Now, on a side note, all of the apps don't work from the bottom. So stuff like Instagram and Facebook, you can't use from the bottom. But you can use a lot of stuff. Like say you want to take it over to, uh, let's go to Google Chrome. So I was checking out Apple's event on the bottom, watching YouTube on the top. Now I can swipe up, check this out. Here's all my recently used apps. If I hit clear all, everything clears. Now this is something else that I really like. If you swipe down, say you want to use the bottom as a trackpad, LG trackpad, check this out. Now I can scroll up, scroll down, using my finger. So let's click on YouTube, double tap, just like that. Now say I start watching a YouTube video, let's exit out of that, and I wanna hold the phone like this, but I don't wanna accidentally go like this and press a button, here's all you gotta do. You swipe down, activate grip lock. Now the bottom is completely locked off, I can hold the phone like this. I can use it as a video camera. I can go crazy. I don't have to worry about pressing a button. That's pretty dope. Tap it to turn it off. All right, so now let's check the web browsing speeds. Go to apple.com. Opening web page. All right, there it is. No camera cutout, so full screen display. No high refresh rate, but the scrolling speeds nice and fast no problems at all split screen multitasking bang let's open up youtube now i got youtube on the bottom and apple on the top how sick is this so say i want to watch a video in alaska things are i can watch a video and chill on apple at the same time this is the future of multitasking all right, so now let's test out the speakers. Of course, we got the official Flossy Carter sound test by my homeboy, Mark Rubier. Here we go. Yo, sound test, time for sound test. Everybody shut your mouth, time for sound test. Time to test that quality of sound test. How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound now? How's it sound now? One bottom firing speaker. Sounds pretty good. It would have been so much better with dual speakers, but it sounds pretty good. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Rabier. All right, so now let's check this beautiful P-OLED panel. Here it goes. Now, this is what I like about watching videos. Look how you just hold it like this. A 
excellent viewing angles. Basically bezel-less. Look how sick this is. Now let me activate grip lock. Just rock like this. This is sick. Now, let me show you something that's dope. Say you're watching a YouTube video, right? You're watching some music. Watch this. You can actually Shazam the song while you're playing it. Now, this is a custom beat, so nothing's going to come up. But that's dope if you listen to the videos. Real multitasking. All right, now here's a dope way to use your navigation. Where's the nearest shopping mall? Here are some listings for the nearest shopping mall within two miles. All right, now I would find that shopping mall, punch it up in the GPS, and as I'm driving, I can still be using my bottom screen. Say I want to check my Gmail messages while my GPS is on. Still getting my turn-by-turn -turn directions. All right, so now let's do a little bit of gaming. Gonna flex it open, turn on Asphalt 9, then we'll flip it upside down. Check this out. Bang, look at that. All right, so let's let this load up. Oh, okay, so already loaded up. Let's hit play. No thanks. All right, let me start the game. All right, here we go. Get it on. Dual screens. I like that though. <laughs> Got your player name on the top. Now, playing Asphalt 9 is a little bit different on this phone because now you got a map. So now you can see where all your turns are coming. All right, here we go. Let's get it in. Nitrous right out the bait. Here we go. Okay, tap to hold and drift. All right, I remember that. Okay, that was a little drift. Nitro right there. Okay. Oh, you trying to murk me? Ah! Woo! Y'all see the map on the top, though? Oh, I missed the jump. All right, I'm still moving, though. I've got a left turn coming up. I should have drifted that one. And there it is. But that map on the top makes it feel like a new game. This is sick. I love this. All right, so now let's do the RDA test. Regular daily activities. Wake up in the morning, grab your phone off the charger, check your always on display, 144, I still got some time to sleep. Put it back on. Wireless charger on deck. Wait a couple of minutes. Wake up again. Okay, now it's time to get up. Hit that fingerprint sensor. First thing we're going to do, let's check the weather. All right, looks like a sunny day. Real nice. Exit out of that. Now let's check some basic apps. Take it over to the gram real quick. Let's get a fresh reset. Okay. All right, somebody voted. I like that. Nice, beautiful water. I like that, too. Let me get in like that. Why not? Let me stop hating. <laughs> I got a little memes on deck. All right. See what's going on. Anything new on the gram? I my man feeling himself. I like that. Okay. A little more than motivation. Real nice. I like that, too. Anything involved with cats? I like that. Exit out. Next. Let's take it over to uh, Twitter. Let's check my mentions. See anybody talking about me? See what's going on? Read all my tweets. Nice scrolling rates. Keep it moving. Next, take it over to Facebook. Let's see what's down, going down on Facebook. Somebody done okay. found my skates, and now they out here skating down the driveway. Okay. Shout out to my aunt. Get ready to roast somebody. I got the maps going. All right. My man Trump out here getting that money. All right, I see you. Okay. Shout out to old dog. Keep it moving. 
Next. Let's uh, take it over to TikTok. Why not? She was going down on TikTok. Okay. Little homie about to get it in. All right, I see you, little homie. I see you. Take it, take it over to my page. Of course, I got to check my favorite video to brighten up my day. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my daughter. Let me go ahead and like that again. Watch a little TikTok videos to get me smiling in the morning. All right, so we exit out of that. Bomb. Now let's um take it over to YouTube, watch a few videos. Okay, but while we're doing that, we can swipe over. Let's throw on a video real quick. Let's see. Uh, let's see anything interesting coming. I right, check out some Sopranos. All right, watch a little Sopranos. At the same time, let's check my Gmails. All right, watch some Sopranos. Full screen. Check my Gmails. So this phone passes the RDA test with flying colors. All right, now check this out. You can also use the phone in this angle. Flip it open, then flip it this way. Now watch this. Let's uh, go to, uh, let's take it over to Instagram. I could be on Instagram and YouTube at the same time. This is pretty sick too. Check this out. All right, so let's go ahead and like that. Watching the video at the same time. Little memes, like that too. Ultra mask. Animal videos, I love it. Go to my profile. This is dope. All right, so now let's take a look at the camera. Now say you online at the food bank because you ain't got no money, your ass is broke, you just spent a thousand bucks on an LG wing, so you're gonna be eating government cheese for a couple of days, it is what it is. You see two guys getting ready to get involved in hand-to-hand -hand combat, grab your phone, press the power button twice, yell out World Star, start recording. All right, so the power button twice, that's your World Star hip hop button. Now. I wanna show you how the camera. This is one of the best features about this phone. Check this out. So let's go through the different shooting modes first. You got time lapse. Okay, you can set different times. You got video, which if you want to, you could do all the way up to 10 times zoom on your video. With 4K, 60 frames per second is the max resolution. Real dope. Now you got photos. You got wide angle, all the way up to 10 times zoom. Now you got portrait mode. You can change the blur, 3D photo effect, cartoon background, sketch background. You got color focus, I love that one. You got pan in, zoom, stage light, and stage light mono. Now you got a bunch of 3D stickers. I look at the little cute cat hands, I love that. And you got more. So you got night view, panorama, you got manual camera, change your ISO, your shutter speed, go crazy. You got manual video, same thing. You got slow motion, YouTube live, start streaming right from your phone. You got center shot, you got 3D panorama, and AR stickers. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Watch this. Once you flick it open, now you got a totally different camera. Now look at these controls right here. You got first person view, you got pan follow mode and follow mode. What does that mean? This phone is actually on a gimbal now. Watch this. You see, I'm right in front of it. Without even moving the phone, I can move the camera lens. Yo, how sick is that? This is perfect for the scumbag life. Now, you ever been sitting next to somebody and you want to take a clandestine photo of them, but you don't want to go like this, put the phone right in their face, Maybe they eating and they got cheese all over their lips and you want to clown them. Now all you got to do is point the phone straight, use your gimbal, and slide over. Now watch this. My hand is completely out of the frame. Look, I'm gonna put, let's see how far I can go over. All right, here's the wing right here. I'm pointing straight at it. Look at that. Yo, that's pretty sick. 
right, that's pretty sick. Now, if you want to, you can also take photos right from this angle. But the one downside to this is you only got full HD and HD. So if you go to settings and use in gimbal mode, you only got two resolutions to choose from. You, got, you don't got 4K, 60 frames per second. But you do have super stable and you got your gimbal. Now watch this, let's see if I can get shoes. Let's see if I can get shoes. I right, watch this, now I got a picture of the wing right here. I wanna get shoes without moving the camera. Look at that. And I can take a quick shot. Bang. This is hot, yo, all right? So the cops are standing right next to you. You wanna get a quick shot of the badge number, but you don't wanna be like, let me see your badge number. You ain't even gotta do that. You can just be like this on the low. Like, all right, no problem, here you go. Bond, gotcha. All right, shoes, I need you to calm down. This is pretty dope. And you got some different modes on this one. You got slow motion, you got time lapse, you got gimbal mode, dual recording. All right, dual recording, front and back at the same time. Me in the back looking like a savage. Let's go to, uh regular time-lapse photos uh time-lapse let's see nope you can't use all right so for gimbal mode you got to use gimbal hold up let's see, let's see if i can catch shoes again all right so this, the, the only thing is you are limited to how far you could go but think about it most phones don't move at all most phones will be just like this right hold up. shout out to destroyer just uploaded the video trolling my video most phones would be like this so if i want to get shoes i gotta go like that now let's see, from right here, shoes, I was in your queue. From right here, <laughs> right here, I can just move like this. Bang. And I can and I can track. Now let me let me track shoes real quick. Look at this. I should see right there. Shoes. Now when I want her to move, she ain't gonna move. Oh. All right, calm down. Look, look, look. All right, calm down gimbal mode this is dope all right so let me show you some tips uh some test pictures and videos that i took let me get one right here while you're looking all cute too So here's how the pop-up selfie camera looks. Check that out. 
This is sick. All right, now I do got one accessory I want to show y'all. We got the LG Design Skin Case. Now I remember the same style from the LG Velvet. Let's check this one out. Okay, now this one has the little carrying strap, which does open. Okay, little loop right here. Drop the phone on. Now with this case, of course you're not gonna get any razivity because you need to be able to Flex it open. Oh, wait a minute. This case is sick. Now, I just felt it. Goes in your hand like this. So that's gonna that's gonna assist with your flex. So now you can flex it without having to worry about dropping the phone. Oh, and you can actually close it with one hand. Let's see. I just, like I said, I still gotta play with this. Let's see. I'll get the hang of it. But this case is pretty dope, all right? Got the leather feel on the back. Like I said, if you want to, you open this up. Let it hang like a boss. Design skin. Clip it to your bag. No razivity. Cutouts, buttons, cutouts, buttons. But the best thing is, you don't have to worry about dropping your one thousand dollar phone. All right, so let's get this in. I thought the phone was coming out the case. I forgot it flips. Bang. I wonder if a two hand. You think a two hand flex would be better? You're talking to your homeboy. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Check this out. You know what I'm saying? The two. All right. So if you're a novice, all right. If you're a novice. You might want to go with the two hand flex. I'm work. I'm working on this one, yeah. Matter of fact, let me see. I think I got it better without the case. I think I'm better without the case. Yeah, just use your thumb, just like that. Now you could close it with one hand, but that's going to be more. With one hand close is more of a struggle. Let me see. Yeah, if you, if you use it a table or something, the one hand close, you could probably finesse that one when you get the hang of it, be able to do it nice. But that flip, woo, <laughs> that flip. I think, I, I think I'm think i gonna do it like this. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm chilling at the bar, yeah, what up, yo? Check this out, bang. So I think I'm gonna do one hand flip and two hand close. All right, let me try it again. Yeah, yeah, check out, y'all seen this new phone? Yeah. Ah, <laughs> check that out, you like that, right? You know what I mean? Yeah, yo, bro, your phone don't do this. Hold up. Ah, see, now the thing is, you can't mess up. You can't be like, your phone don't do this. Now, nah, you got to be able to be like, yo, your phone don't do this. Like that. Bang. See? It took me a while to get this one. <laughs> to get this one like that. <laughs> I'm having too much fun. It took me a while to be able to be like, yo, check this out. And flip, flip it with no hesitation at all. Like that. This one, I'm working on it, y'all. I'm working on it. I'm working on it, though. <laughs> you see, it's coming, though. Oh, there it is, there it is. Yo, check this out. Oh, okay, there it is, there it is. Yo, bro, bro, hold up. Oh, what's, what, what's that? Galaxy Note? What's that? Galaxy Note? Flex, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Hold up. All right, anyway, let me wrap this up. All right, so overall, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm giving the LG Wing a major, major, major go. I love this phone, and it's definitely going to be in my rotation. Now, here's the thing. Is it really worth 1,000 bucks? Well, that's up to you. Practically, of course, you could get better specs. You could get dual speakers, quad HD display, reverse wireless charging, high refresh rates. You can get a lot of other phones for the same price. But if you're that dude that wants a different phone from everybody else, you like the latest and greatest, you don't mind being a beta tester, all right? You're an alpha male, but a beta tester, and you want to have the flyest, dopest, most James Bond gadgets on the block, trust me. This is it right here, all right? Now, of course, Galaxy Fold, you're gonna get a little bit more flex with that. Even with the Z Flip, you get a lot of flex with this too. But this one is the most, I would say, one of the most practical out of all of the flex and foldable phones, even though the Galaxy Fold is dope also. But this one, if you watch YouTube videos all day, there's nothing gonna be better than watching a video like this. All right, let's put it on the top. Watching your video and holding the phone like this. Let me pull up one more video. I did that one more time for y'all. Let me see what I got on deck. This is what I'm talking about. Now, to all of the phones that I got, there's nothing better than holding the phone like this and watching the video. I love this. I, this feature alone is going to make this phone be in my pocket for all of my trips, for all of my clandestine adventures. This is it right here. Anyway. 
LG Wing. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. But I'm feeling it. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Peace. Spock won the beam up. Energize. Thank <laughs> you.